Hey guys, welcome to Tetris Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to promote Redbubble on Pinterest. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. What is Redbubble? Redbubble is an online marketplace that allows artists and creators to sell their artwork and design. It offers a wide range of customizable items such as clothing, home decor, phone cases, stickers, and more, featuring unique and independent designs. Customers can browse through a vast catalog of products and choose designs that resonate with them. So it is a platform that brings together artists, designers, and consumers in a creative marketplace. So as you can see, these are the different products or the featured products that different sellers or designers have made. In this video, I'm actually showing you how we could effectively promote your Redbubble products on Pinterest. So you might be surprised at how Pinterest can be a powerful platform for boosting your Redbubble sales. So this is Pinterest's website. So for those of you who did not know, Actually, Pinterest is a social media platform and visual discovery engine that allows users to discover, save, and share images and ideas related to various topics and interests. It's often used for creative inspiration and project planning, so users can create virtual pinboards where they pin images and links from around the internet, categorizing them based on their interests, hobbies, or plans. Pinterest is popular for finding ideas on topics like home, decor, fashion, recipes, travel destination, and much more. It's a valuable resource for gathering and organizing visual inspiration and information. Now let's get into signing up in Redbubble. So we'll just need to go through its website. So this is Redbubble's website. As you can see, here are the different categories that they offer or sell in here. So here are the logo, the search bar, you can sell your art, log in, sign up. And here is a list and your card. For you to be able to get into it, let's click on to sign up. So for you to be able to sign up on Redbubble, you'll just need to simply click R to sign up since there are two options in here. We also have customer sign up. So this is for browse the marketplace and find your thing. So since we want to set up a shop and start selling your design, simply click onto this. Then add in your email, your shop name, your password. And then you could ask it also to email you special offers and artist news. By clicking sign up, you should agree to the user's agreement and privacy policy in here. So just simply click sign up right after filling in. But if you have an account already, just simply click on to log in. Now right after signing up, you'll be redirected onto the screen or its dashboard. So as you can see, they have welcomed you to Redbubble and you'll need to complete the steps to open your shop and start selling your art. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to add in your design. So upload your original art and choose products, add at least 5 designs to get your shop ready for customer. So you could check product formatting, quality is better than quantity. So let's click on to add designs in here. So you have two options in here. You can upload a new work or copy an existing work. So there are also file requirements in here and different details. So they recommend that you use high resolution JPEG, PNG or JF files with a minimum of 1000 PX resolution. So for more help, there is also a design guide in here. And for this copy and existing work, you can copy the same products and design placement from another design. So this is particularly great for color variants. So we'll just need to simply click on upload new work in here. So I have here a photo sound that I have downloaded from the internet. So let's try to use this one out. Simply click on to open and you'll have the option in here to add in a title. So let's add in here dog in a jacket. Then also you can add in tags in here like dogs, cute, then jacket. So you can write up to 15 tags, 50 character limit per tag separated by commas like this. And also that describe your content of your art. So you can learn more about writing good tags in here. To simply click onto this link and you can share it a description in here. So this is a dog wearing a jacket so let's add it in here let's fix this one out and there you have it you could also choose in a background color if you want and then you could also replace the image so we've chosen English as our language in here but you have others as well so you could choose other language in here if you prefer so let's scroll down in here and here are the different product previews so we have a t-shirt large print clothing there are hats as well 
chiffon tops, graphic dresses, so you'll need to choose one which one do you like. So I think I like this phone cases and skin. Let's get this one enabled. Just simply click onto this one in here. This pillow as well. Click on enable. So you can see the poster as well. Click on enable. And this one, pouches, laptop, skin, and sleeve, enable. So I think we have enabled four already. Let's add in this mouse pad as well. So you have the option also to edit this. So simply click on to edit. And as you can see in here, you can click and drag the position of image in here. So you could simply move it like that. And let's put this one here onto the center like that. Hold on. Like that. So you could replace the image center vertically center horizontally set the background scale the image and you could also choose a pattern so you could add in regular grid or offset grid and once done just click on apply changes so right after here onto the bottom part you can select media in here like select up to two like photography design illustration so let's add that and here you could also choose the default product in your app. So let's use optimize recommended and who can view this work? Anybody public or only US private. So let's public that. And is this a mature content? Let's add a no since that is not. And let's agree to the terms and condition and click on to save work. And the process is already complete. So for you to be able to connect it to Pinterest, you'll just need to simply click on to sign up first on Pinterest so that you'll have an account. You'll have an option in here to add in an email, add in your password, your birth date, and then click on continue. Or you can continue with Facebook or Google. Now once you have your design ready already in here, you'll see the different options that they offer. So the next thing that you'll need to do is to choose one that you like to be added on Pinterest. So I think this notebook is a cute one. So there is a share button in here and the three dots in here. So under the three dots, you can download the images, copy the link or view this onto a product page, but you'll need to click onto this one. So you have the option to share on Facebook, Twitter, on Tumblr and pin on Pinterest. So since we've created an account already, simply click on pin on Pinterest. So right after it will ask you to choose a board. So since we don't have a board, since we just recently created our account, let's simply click onto that and let's add an in here, dog designs. You also have the option to keep this board as a secret, but simply click onto that and then click on create. So as you can see, it is already added in here. So the dog design, we'll just simply click on to save in here. So you should be able to show it onto your Pinterest account already. So you'll have another option as well in here and the Pinterest, just click on to create in here click on create pin and right after choose a board so let's choose dogs design in here then you can add in a title dog notebook then you could tell everyone what it's been about dog design on a notebook then you could also add in all text in here and add the destination link so what you'll need to do is just simply drag and drop the photo in here so we'll just need to simply drag this one here and then you could see the notebook also. And then right after you'll need to add in the destination link. So let's head onto the red bubble button again. And right after just click onto this three dots in here and then copy the link. And then we'll need to paste it in here. And it was successfully added. Just simply click onto save. And as you can see, it is already added onto your board so I'll just need to simply click onto your account here and so you can see here onto the bottom part you have the dog design board and you have one pin in here which is the red bubble product that you have and you have successfully promoted it and there you have it i hope you find this guide on promoting red bubble products on pinterest helpful if you have any questions or need further assistance please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below so if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on our next video.